what is up youtube welcome to this new series for data structure and algorithm so this is a basically a spin off series coming out of my last video which covered the concepts around ds and algo for data engineering interviews but the goal of to make this series is to make it short and crisp videos which explains the concept and works on each problem one by one so i'm going to start off with lead code problems solving lead code problems specifically the blind 75 list uh maybe in future i'm going to create a list of all these problems and keep a tracker in place but yeah uh, as simple as that let's quickly start with the easiest problem and let's try to do it in each video all right getting started on the first problem the first problem name is contains duplicate good point about this problem is there are multiple ways to solve this so let's go through them one by one so let's look at the problem first so given an integer array of numbers nums return true if values appear at least twice in the array so you need to see that if single element is kind of repeated then this the result of this function should return true the other part is like if if every element is distinct then you have to return a false so you need to key into these two points and that's how you're going to approach the problem out of these simpler questions what uh into is kind of looking for is that you are able to optimize uh in terms of the time complexity so the the, the solution that you come up with must be efficient in terms of time uh, all right let's try to solve this problem by the brute force method which is the easiest one to solve but it's not as efficient so let me write down the numbers for the first you go element by element you start from the left you go element by element you check for the first element you keep your first cursor on the first element and then you hop on to all the next element and see if it matches so the first iteration would be that it goes to the next element and it says if it matches return true uh, uh if it matches return true otherwise go on to the next element so it's like a for loop so it's going to go on to the next element and say if it matches then return true otherwise go on to the next element and then in the last uh element of this array if says if it matches yes it will return true it will just break the loop and go on to the next element but one of the things to notice is to check the first element only you need to iterate over the array n times for each element it takes n times for the n elements it takes n times again so hence n cross n which is uh n square All right so let's try to solve this brute force solution uh, as a key thing you need to understand that we are going through this array or this list uh two time because we are checking two indexes right so so the first loop would look like for i in range of length of nums so basically this is all this is like a pythonic syntax on writing a loop the next loop we are going iterate over it again through uh through i plus 1 to the length of nums so then we need to create a condition if nums i equal to nums j then you to return true but then if you don't find and uh, you've covered all the elements and that's the worst case you need to return uh false So yeah, let's try to run this code. So the test case has actually worked. This in through this test case it's working. Let's try to sum it and see if. So yeah, as you can see the solution kind of actually works, but the problem with the solution is that the time limit is exceeding because it's not efficient to run. So then they let's go, we'll go on to the next solution for the problem, which is using a hash set or a hash map, right? So basically you're creating a temporary storage in some somewhere and you're keeping uh, the elements you've gone through already. and because the the retrieving uh, complexity for a hash set is basically o1 so you can retrieve any element of any length uh uh in just constant complexity so it's not a problem python it's very easy to define a hash set which is h equal to set and this is how it works so and then this is basically a temporary storage so uh as soon as you see a number you insert it into this hash set and see if it exists then you can always pull it out so so for example let's let's iterate to the first example the first you go to 1 in the first iteration it checks this number if it says if 1 already exists return true otherwise insert 1 into this hash set 
So in the first citation we are here, it hasn't seen any number. So basically it inserts one in this case. Okay. In, in the hash set. Okay. Then it goes on to this second number, uh, second index, and it goes to two. It sees if uh, two is in hash set return true, otherwise return false. So in this case, it's still not there. Then you're gonna otherwise return add into this hash set. Similarly, for the next element, you go on to the next element and then you see a three. You compare it with your hash set. If three exists, no, then insert. Then we insert it. All right. And then the next and the last step in this, because the array has ended, then you go on to the last index and say, hey, one exists in the hash set. It says yes. And hence you have to return true. Uh, inserting any element will take O1 of time complexity, even though it takes memory, which is ON of memory, because you're inserting all the elements one by one. But adding and retrieving basically has a constant complexity. Hence, you don't need to loop through it. So uh, at the end of the day, the, the problem is kind of solved in using an ON and see how it works. So yeah, let me just remove this. Uh, I need to create a hash set, which is H is equal to set. Okay. And then we need to iterate. Iterate through the number. So you need just the one loop. The first thing you need to check if 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 your element which is nums i at the current index in h return true otherwise you need to insert this element into yeah then you need to insert uh this element inside of this has set so yeah Otherwise, because we can do an else, just to be clear. So yeah, we just need to do an else. So if it's there, it have seen the number. Uh, so appending takes constant complexity, which is O1. Uh, checking, like checking a number in a hash set also takes constant complexity, which is O1. So basically eliminating a second loop through this. And hence, uh, basically, I treat through the, I treat through the numbers only once, and then if nothing works out and if it hasn't found any number, then you need to kind of return false. So yeah, this is how the hash set solution should work. Let me try to run this. So yeah, uh, I, I just got an error that uh, append doesn't work because yeah, sorry, I was mistaken. Uh, it's not a list. Uh, it's a, it's a hash set. So instead of append, there's a predefined function called add. So you're adding an element to this hash set using this function and passing in the, the value. All right, running the code. Let's see what happens. All right, the, the test uh, case, the first test case kind of worked. Uh, let's try to submit and see if this error is kind of removed. All right, it kind of worked. Uh, the solution is accepted. So in this case, the time complexity would be O N and space complexity will also be O N because we are storing values. All right. Hope you kind of like the first video on the DSN algorithm spin off series from my data engineering series. So the idea is both of them kind of will go in parallel. Uh, you can see a lot more videos uh, on this uh, data success algorithm because the idea is I'm also trying to solve problems on my own. So I'm going to keep covering these videos in parallel with the data engineering series. Yeah. So yeah, I hope you like this one. If you gain value out of this and it was, if, if the explanation was simple and easy for you to understand, uh, definitely hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps uh, to promote my channel to people like you. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.